Yo, what is going on, on YouTube? It's your boy Barry Tone. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top three methods from stopping the Zemi emulator from lagging so much. But before we get started this video, please make sure guys you would like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. All right, so first things first with the Zemi emulator, my first um, recommendation is Always go into your NVIDIA control panel. <clears throat> Just takes a while to basically come up. All right, when you get right here, always change everything to your graphics card where you can get the best experience as possible. And then when you adjust MS settings with preview, use um, emphasizing. And you're gonna go more to the performance side. You apply that. Cause I've been, when you're going over more towards performance than quality, it's basically, it makes the, any game that you're trying to use with your Nvidia graphics card, run more smoothly and less lag. And then right here, obviously use your Nvidia graphics, um, graphics card. And then, by default, the settings should be good, but you guys can mess around with the settings. Um, mess around with the frame rate. OpenGL, which is really important in emulation. Mess around with the shared cache, which is also a very important in emulation. And you can enable the VSync, which I believe VSync is on uncapping it and try to push it to 60 frames per second. Right now it's off, but if you guys wanna mess around with that, you guys can also enable that also for you to make your experience much more better go to program settings and then basically going to add I'm going to add Xenia and then the settings are just the same as the first thing I show you but it's a little bit more advanced is on more in the, the global settings pretty much the same if you're trying to change anything else and after that you apply that and then you close that out the next thing the second method um, from stopping from lag is mess around with the configuration settings uh, most people don't may not know about this uh, you can either open this with your notepad or you can open up with notepad plus plus. I use notepad plus plus to open this up. As you see right here, you have a lot of settings, a whole bunch of settings you can change for the Xenia emulator. Like say for example, you want to mess around with the resolution to make your experience, experience much more better. So change it up to two or three and it explains, um, how it works and what the resolution does when you're playing it on the emu um, Xenia emulator. And you guys can also mess with VSync, which I also mentioned before that VSync, um, usually I'm trying to push the game to 60 F um, FPS. If you, if you guys are struggling to find certain settings, um, go to control F and type in the type of settings you want to look at. Sync, as you guys see, VSync. Right now, if you enable it false, then it's gonna push, try to push on uh, any game you play 60, 60 frames per second. But do keep in mind that you also need a very good PC to basically try to um, push the frame rate a little bit much more higher. Not gonna work for um, everybody. And as you guys see, the most important settings, you see the CPU settings, which is very important emulation. The D, D3, D12 is important for Xbox emulation because it does a lot for the emulator. And you also have Vulkan settings, which is still in beta stage right now. I wouldn't recommend it to use Vulkan, but it's there if you guys want to mess around with it. And it also has the GPU settings which is also important when you do resolution, uh, res you can do resolution scaling and other things to improve your performance on, to stop lag and improve your performance 
on the Xenia emulator. And when, based on when you're done with that, go to save as, leave as that, and then save it, and you should be all set. So that's the second method in stopping um, lag and basically fixing lag in the Xenia emulator. The third way is something very simple. <laughs> Is updating your graphics card. So if you guys have um, NVIDIA, NVIDIA is really good with um, having the most up-to-date drivers for any version that we have from 1050, 2080s, um, 3060s with the most oldest graphics card to, to the most up-to-date. They have drivers that you can always update to that current version. So make sure you guys are always updating your drivers. That's one of another reason to cause lag when you're playing games on it. Um, there's any emulator and also if you guys have AMD I'm not too I'm not too familiar with AMD but I know they do have um things to update your drivers so type in AMD driver update on Google that should that should also help you also too to improve your experience on the Zenia emulator so that's basically about it um pretty simple um easy ways to basically fix a lag on the Zenia emulator basically my top three ways that I use to fix lag on the Xenia emulator. But that's about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, find this video any helpful at all, feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Braytone. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.